Welcome to another episode of the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. Howdy ho. We back. We back. We back. It's <laughs> been a while. Huh? I know, man. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. As always, we got a great show lined out for you today. Uh, we are reviewing the movie Ride Along. And actually, this is a little different because normally, you know, Kev and I, when we do our uh, reviews or, you know, see our movies, we do it on our own. But actually, Kev and I saw this movie together, which was uh, kind of a ordeal in of itself that was an experience ladies and gentlemen i must admit um what you think about that Ann? it, it kind of gives you a different perspective when somebody's smacking popcorn and slurping a drink in your ear and that whole deal i won't say who that was but <laughs> or uh, maybe <laughs> even when somebody has got their uh their, their head on your shoulder drooling into your what? slurpee i won't say who that was <laughs> We have Ride Along, which is rated PG-13, has a runtime of one hour and 39 minutes. This movie is an action slash comedy. Yeah, and we'll use that term loosely, but keep going. <laughs> uh, we find Kevin Hart, who plays a high school security guard that is determined to propose to his girlfriend. There's just one problem. He has to first win the heart of his future brother-in-law, who happens to be a tough-as-nails cop. This movie was directed by Tim Story. You may be familiar with his work if you've seen movies such as... Fantastic Four, one mm -hmm. and two, which I'll never forgive him for, Ant. Uh, Barbershop, mm -hmm. and Think Like a Man. The film stars Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, John Leguizamo. Um, we'll let you talk about John Leguizamo in a minute. <laughs> it has a cameo by Lawrence Fishburne, which uh, I'll let you describe what that's like as well. We'll get, we'll get into we'll that. We'll get to that too. No doubt. But um, how about we take a look at the trailer? Let's do it. All right. All right. To say that I'm crazy about you doesn't do my feelings any justice. I adore you. I'm devoted to you. You would make me the luckiest man on the planet if you would be my wife. <sighs> what does that mean? Huh? What's that? Did you get her father's blessing yet? No, it's not a father, it's her brother. Hey, get down, boy! You got two seconds before I'm involved. You're white! You're white! You don't fight! That little clown is dating my sister, little man Smurf. Maybe he just wants into the family. I know exactly what he wants. You want the hammer? I want the hammer. Then go get the hammer. Okay, enough of that nasty. <laughs> Maybe not. James, I wanted your blessing in asking your sister to marry me. Show me that you're worthy of her. How am I supposed to do that? I'm gonna take you on a ride along. Hell yeah. Tell me what about it! Tell me what about it! Yeah, he shot your ass. You damn right I shot your uh -huh. ass. All right, y'all. I'm sorry, but we are the movie brothers, and we bring you nothing but the real, real. on the, the real. real. So I got to do it. I thought this movie was terrible, Kev. Uh, starting with Ice Cube, which I felt like his acting was just really, really bad. Don't get me wrong. I know this is a light comedy. PG-13, I get all of that good stuff but it was still really, really bad. I felt like they tried to build everything just around this Ice Cube brand of, you know, Mean Mug, Scowl, that type of deal, and it just didn't work for me. No, I feel you, um, and I agree with you 110%. This movie uh, it was really kind of ill-conceived from the start. Mm -hmm. It probably would have been better off had it been an R-rated film, had they been allowed to say just exactly whatever they wanted to say and just mm -hmm. really go off into left field with it. Uh, as it stands, they tried to keep it safe, play it safe, keep it family friendly, and it just became family boring. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. I just I, I had that's that's one of numerous complaints that I have about this yeah. film. And actually, the, you know, which is rare for me, y'all know, but in this case, the PG-13 didn't really bother me. Most of the time, I don't really go for that, but you know, that was okay. It's just you know the acting performances. We had John Leguizamo in this movie, who I also I. At least I thought was a great actor, but you know, delivered a less than performance. Let's be honest, John Leguizamo ain't really acting in anything <laughs> since he started making Ice Age movies. So, <laughs> you know, once he started lending his voice to Ice Age movies, to cartoons, his acting just. Yeah, I, I have to do go through my research to pull up some Leguizamo quality work, but That's it's, what it's, been, it's been you a minute. You can't find none. <laughs> well, I defy you to find one. I can find some, but not right now. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back to you. It's been a minute. <laughs> Anyway, you know, less than performance from him. Kevin Hart, I think Kevin Hart's a, a, a great comedian, great talent, but uh, this film lacked a lot of direction. I found oftentimes, you know, and, and you know, Kevin Hart is a great ad-libber. 
right? He's great for doing his thing and his shtick and uh, doing the physical comedy, and that's cool to a point. But uh, I was looking for Tim's story to give a little bit more direction to say, hey, cut. You know, some of the scenes went way too long the way. It was just very awkward. I'm like, all right. Jokes just on? jokes just seem to last forever before you get any type of payoff. Uh, Kevin Hart is great in moderation for me. Both he and Ice Cube generally work better to me when they are part of ensemble cast and not when they are asked to carry a, fi carry a film, which they are asked to do here, unfortunately. Uh, Kevin Hart is expected to be the heartbeat of this film, okay? <laughs> but the film spends most of its time on, on life support nonetheless, so. Um, I just, uh, I just really was just disappointed in much of what we saw. Uh, there are a couple of funny moments, and the thing is, one of those movies when you see people laughing, and you don't really understand why, you just want to ask them, "What the heck are you laughing at?" Okay, but you mm -hmm. just can't. You can't, and uh, it's it's pretty obvious to me that they were trying really hard, really hard, in order to make something out of nothing, and they succeeded at nothing at all right yeah uh somehow they got lawrence fishburne who i guess actually he reverted back to larry they got that brother off movie. the couch <laughs> <laughs> and i always joke with kev all the time i like to call you know when we have you know great actors like a fishburne or a de niro show up in these types of movies it's you know i call them vacation films because it's like you know they're in there to get paid and buy a new vacation home. Oh yeah, they subsidize <laughs> subsidizing a vacation home, paying for a vacation spot somewhere in Fiji or something. Uh, this was just uh, Larry Fishburne, basically, I don't know, just cashing a check. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that pretty much sums it up. We don't have a whole lot to, to give to them. I mean, that's, that's the extent of it. Um, <laughs> Let's put some points on this film. Let's do it. All right. Like I said, this movie was not very good at all. You know, straight up, no direction, all over the place. I give it a 4 out of 10. Instead of Ride Along, you need to Ride Alone. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> but don't do it. <laughs> uh, I, re I agree with Ant. This was not a very good film, not very well made, not very entertaining. Uh, you want to laugh. You're begging for a laugh especially from a, a, a talented comedian such as Kevin Hart, it just doesn't really come, at least not, not as fast and as furious as you'd like for them to. Mm -hmm. uh, I give this movie a 4.5. It's just simply based on the star wattage of Kevin Hart and the fact that when he is on screen, you still can't help but look at him uh, because he's interesting. But the bottom line is that the film is just not very well made, not all that entertaining. I say you need to ride along to the next theater and see something else. Another half score, huh? Another half score. <laughs> you know, I'm the king of putting points on something. All right, y'all. There you have it. We are the Movie Brothers. I'm Ann. This is Kev. Namaste. <laughs> well, we bring you nothing but the real, real on, on the, the real. real. Peace.